I had a weird phase this summer where I got really into game development. And while I was in that phase, I watched a lot of videos from a YouTube channel called That Guy Glenn. I chose some of my favorite games from That Guy Glenn's videos and I decided to download them on Steam. Not all of them though, because I'm not Mr. Krabs Rich. And one of those games was Dead Cells, so uh, I'm playing Dead Cells. That's the intro. Also, I'm playing without the wiki because I think wikis ruin games, but that's beside the point. So when you see me clambering around like an idiot, just know it's because I am one. For now, for now, guys. Eventually, I want to be an expert on everything, including the lore. We start off the game going to a prisoner's quarter, so I'm guessing we are a prisoner or we were. Why is our guy a pile of dead leaves? What in the world? Oh, okay. Now he's got a body. The game explains the controls at the beginning, so after fiddling around like an idiot for a little bit, I uh, decided to finally go through that door. I found this warrior lady, and she told me that I had come back from the dead, but how did I die? Or who killed me? That'll have to be a question for another day, because she didn't seem to know either. Immediately to the, uh, to the, the, the right of me, uh, yeah, the right, there was a arrow and a shield, but I chose the arrow because shields are boring. Yeah, that's right, phalanx enjoyers. I said it. Also, I passed this, like, circle thing, but I couldn't use it. So, uh, I'm assuming it's a teleporter. At this point, I was assuming everything was hostile, so I just started murking everything in sight. Eventually, I found this scroll of power and uh, gave me the option to upgrade three things. I chose brutality because swords are totally awesome. Eventually, I found a shield, but shields are lame, so I left it behind. Up here, I found this vine thing that said I could tickle it. Guys, it was the game's word. It was the game's word. It wasn't my- it wasn't my- Eventually, I found this paywall, and uh, I decided to buy it because... Why not? And it had a higher DPS than my sword, so I decided to take it. And I guess I'm Thor now because I got the hammer. Also, I found this kebab, which is proof that there's healing items. <laughs> This is why shields are bad. This is why they suck, because of this guy right here. I found a blood sword blueprint, and I killed all the guys protecting the power scroll. This time I took survival because that 70% HP bonus was looking scrumptious. I found this merchant dude and I thought he was hostile at first, so I tried to attack him, but uh, he didn't seem to like that too much. Anyways, I couldn't afford anything, so I just had to move on. At this point, I only had 5 HP, and I probably should have been more careful because, uh... Yeah. Body was desecrated. And I'm just gonna come back to life, so... Okay. Immediately after my flame on, I was sent into conversation with the warrior girl again. And she made me aware that the dungeon actually changes every time we go through. Speaking of changes, did y'all notice this giant skeleton over here? I thought that was crazy cool looking. Also, I found this chopping block over here, and it said I had a rough time with it, so I think I got my head chopped off. I think that's how I died. Bows for the bros. I found this door, but I didn't know how to open it, so I just kept on fighting. Somehow, I managed to find the blood sword blueprint from my last run. Eventually I figured out I could just walk over this gold pressure plate to open the door, so yeah. Also, in this run, I used the teleporters for the first time. And I picked up this bomb thing because I wanted to know what the Q and the E slots did. After gaining a level in Brutality, yeah, I found this uh, chest here, and when I kicked it, it uh, gave me some items, even though I just paid for this. All the enemies in this room seem to be protected by something, but I can still beat them. As a reward, the game decided to bless me with his overpowered hammer, and I once again took up my mantle as the God of Thunder. I thought I was going to be able to play this game, but with bugs as bad as this one, I just don't know. I just don't know anymore, you know? Uh. 
also my hammer gives me these little slug pets. Like, look at them. They're so adorable. Oh my god. Guys, I have found a door. This is the part of the video where we pretend like I didn't walk around the dungeon for the next 10 minutes, finding absolutely nothing before I finally actually went through the door. Apparently there were side quests for speed and uh, mob kills, but I didn't complete either one, so I'll try that later, I guess. This weird looking chap right here is the collector and he's the key to upgrading things in this game. Anyways, I spent my cells on the health flask, the golden reserves, and this weird knight outfit I found. I found the collector's really powerful sidekick, Gillian, who had mutations for me, and I chose Necromancy because I liked his healing factor. I feel like the fact that all these bodies are mine is a sign I'm gonna die a lot in this game. This little orb of uh, juice, we'll just call it uh, Fanta, healed me and uh, filled up my healing flask. Hey, it's Edward Scissorhands. Hey, another blueprint. Also, I found this secret area and found a different one. If any of you know how to open this door, please tell me. I can't use the wiki, but I can use the comment section. I gotta say, with this forest look, this doesn't really feel like a dungeon. This is definitely OSHA approved. I just realized in editing I could have opened that door and I'm sick to my stomach. I found the statue of the king and I don't know why but I have a gut feeling he's the final boss of this game. The ops added a shield totem to their party. This guy's definitely gonna be annoying later on. I found this room with an order from the king to imprison anybody with like physical or behavioral changes. I don't really know what happened, but kind of strange. I was given the choice between the red pill and the blue pill, and I chose the blue pill because I still had my Q slot open. Interestante. Oh, snappers. What did I get myself into? This permanent room causes climbing vines to grow? Hmm. Guys, it's official. I can tickle them. Oh yeah. I found an assassin scroll, which is like a power scroll, but it only had two choices. I chose brutality, of course, though. At this point, I chugged the Fanta because my health was getting a little too low. I found another power scroll variant called the Guardian Scroll, which only had choices between survival and tactics. Now I want to get the rest of this run in the video, so spoiler alert, I made it to the promenade. Bet y'all thought I was going to the next stage, huh? Well, anyways, before I went to the ramparts, I found this little door over here, but I couldn't open it, so I just had to move on. Once again, I failed to meet the door's demand, so I gave my cells to the collector, got another mutation from Gillian, and moved on. Now in other maps I've been able to walk off the edge no problem, but here I was a little worried. What I saw when I climbed up that rope can't be shown on YouTube, so I'm gonna just put this here. Wow, oh wow, he's so cool, he unlocked custom mode, oh wow. He's so if you couldn't tell by how fast I'm talking, the video is almost over, so here's the wrap up real quick. I found these new guys that uh, shoot beams of light at you, and they look like mages, but I dealt with them easily. But then when I climbed up this rope here and I dealt with another shield dude, I died right after. That's all I have time for today, I really gotta go water my plants. <laughs>